RIP Arsenal FC. The club that I fell in love with when I was six years old is now officially fucking dead. It is dead. It is now Arson FC. It's fucked. I, I, I am in shock. Unbelievable. The 30th of May 2017 is the day that Arsenal Football Club died. How can he stay? How can they give him another deal? I don't get it. I really don't fucking get it. At the end of the day, the way I see it is the 13 years of being nowhere fucking near a league title. And literally nowhere fucking near a league title. People to throw out there that we finished seven points behind before and, you know, fucking shit like that. I don't give a fuck, yeah? We are miles away from winning a league title and have been for over a decade. One semi-final and one Champions League final in 20 years of Champions League. That ain't good enough. What did we sell our asses for? What did we sell our soul for? Yeah? We moved from the, uh, from the Highbury Stadium to the Emirates Stadium to compete with Europe's elite. We can't even fucking compete with Leicester City. We can't even compete with fucking that lot down the road at the fucking minute. Yeah? Yes, we won an FA Cup. And yes, we've won three in the last four years. And I'm not dis disregarding the FA Cup at all because I love the competition. But for a club of our size to sit here and bang on about fucking FA Cups to now give the man another contract when he's failed in the league for over a decade and failed in the Champions League for over a decade. It's a fucking liberty. All them spineless fuckers, them, in fact, they're not fuckers, they're cunts. All them spineless cunts on that fucking board, and I hope you all fucking see this as well, yeah? All of them should be fucking resigned. Every single one of them, every single one of you cunts should fucking sell your fucking steak and fuck off out of our club, yeah? You ain't Arsenal, none of you are Arsenal, yeah? The club I fell in love with is dead. R.I. fucking P. Arsenal FC, yeah? We might as well just sign the club over to Fenger and fucking fold when he dies. It's a fucking liberty. I am fuming, man. I am so pissed off, yeah? It's a fucking piss take. You know, you got... I got fucking notifications going nuts. People going, oh, there you go. See, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Not just Arsenal fans, like Arsene Wenger fans. Yeah, should I say? But I've got like, other teams, like fucking fans in my mentions. They're all over the moon. You know, it's total contempt for the fans at Arsenal. Like against uh, Sunderland. Um, you know, dead stadium, empty stadium. Did Wenger care? Nah, of course he don't, because he don't give a fuck about us fans. He couldn't give two flying fucks what we think. Yeah, none of the board give a fuck. You know, um, Stan Kroenke don't give a fuck. All, all these fucking silly cunts that are sitting there banging the Wenger in drum all fucking season and have done for years. Yeah, you're all part of the fucking problem. And do you know what? I hope you all fucking suffer for the next two years if he stays. I hope you all suffer. Because what, who are you going to blame when we finish seventh? Who are you going to blame when we finish tenth? Yeah? You've all took the piss out of George Graham for finishing 10th. What are you going to say when Wenger does it? Because it's coming. It's fucking coming, I'm telling you. Every single one of you cunts need to fucking wake up. Yeah? I've got people in my mentions saying to me, oh yeah, but you don't even go to the protests. And my protest is by not fucking going to games. Yeah? I ain't giving them cunts any money. You know, and before some smart aleck comes in my fucking mentions or my comments and says, oh, but you went to the final. You went to the final. Who gives a fuck? I've paid that club 80 fucking quid, yeah, in, what, six years. Actually, I had in Norwich game last season, I paid 30 quid. I paid them 110 quid in six years. Yeah, that's the cost of Arsenal Bayern Munich. That's the cost of Arsenal Chelsea. That's the cost of Arsenal Man United. Arsenal Spurs. So basically, I've given them fuck all for six years, yeah? I'm, I'm not giving them another penny. I don't give a fuck if we make another fucking final. I don't give a fuck if we get Champions League final. We ain't getting that because we ain't even fucking in it, yeah? At the end of the day, every single person that has banged the drum for Wenger to stay is part of the problem. And them spineless cunts that are sat on that board, rather than listening to the fans and actually making a decision which is for the benefit of the football club, they've basically just bottled it and decided to just give him another contract. 
rather than actually going out there and actually going to find another manager and go in another direction and try and appease the fans, they've just bottled it. And I'll tell you something, yeah, you see how fucking these protests were kicking off this season and how the fans were all fighting with each other this season and how the stadium was dead for a lot of it this season. It's only getting, it's only getting worse, I'm telling you. It will only get worse next season and the season after. And before you know it, we'll be sat there watching games on TV because no cunt want to go. Sad. Absolutely gutted. Absolutely devastated. I'm in fucking bits. This club, I love this club to fucking pieces. Yeah. It's dead. This ain't, this ain't, what, this ain't what I fell in love with. This is just a fucking shambles. It's just a bunch of weak, spineless cunts that are all in it for a bit of fucking money. Yeah, none of them give a flying fuck about Arsenal Football Club. There's not one Arsenal fan on the board. There's not one football fan on the board. They're just all cunts. Fuck them. Every single one of them cunts can go fuck themselves. I'm done with a lot of them. Cunts. <laughs>